What is up, fam? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Phil Sarpon. This is Phil's Guide to Side D. If it's your first time here, welcome. This channel is dedicated to all things psychology, wellness, and graduate school. What I do my best on this channel is basically to just answer any questions that you guys have about psychology, wellness, or even graduate school, or even applying to graduate school. So one of the things that we're actually going to look at today is a little bit more of a, a fun topic is I'm going to let you guys know some of my three favorite neuropsychology podcasts that I've been listening to. Now I've done a prior video about this. I actually did a video about just describing some of my favorite psychology podcasts that I listen to, but now I wanna do a video that is specifically focusing on neuropsychology. So for all of those who are looking into going to neuropsychology, whether it's a PhD program or a PsyD program, and you're looking into getting as much information as you can about these programs or what it's like to be a neuropsychologist hopefully these podcasts will give you guys a glimpse and an idea of what your life could look like whether in graduate school or even as a future neuropsychologist so one of the first podcasts that we're going to start with is going to be a neuropsychologist her name is dr judy ho she is a triple board certified clinical neuropsychologist and her podcast is called Supercharged Life. Now, the theme of this podcast is that it's not necessarily specifically focused on neuropsychology, but what's really cool is that she does go over in terms of basically you as a person, as an individual, how to live your best life. And some of the topics that she chooses are actually really cool. She talks about different topics like creating successful habits, she talks about self-compassion. She talks about codependency. She talks about the makings of a psychopath. So if you're interested in perhaps different mental health disorders, or if you're interested in perhaps having more of a fulfilling or exciting or enriching life, then I do think she covers topics that deal with, perhaps they don't deal directly with neuropsychology, but she does talk about different neuropsychology topics and terms and definitions. And so she kind of interweaves that into some of the topics that she has. So it's not directly focused on neuropsychology, but it does give you a glimpse and some perspectives of how to actually potentially use neuropsychology in your real life. So that is a podcast that I would definitely check out. Now, the next podcast is probably my favorite. It is a huge, popular podcast it's called the huberman lab podcast hosted by dr andrew huberman he is a neuroscientist he talks about the brain the connections of the organs of our body perceptions behaviors and health he's also a professor at stanford university he has worked as a tenured professor of neurobiology and ophthalmology at stanford university for a number of years and this podcast is very, very popular. It's on YouTube, it's on all the, the networks for podcasts. And what I love specifically about the Huberman Lab podcast is that this really goes into the details of your brain, of neurons, of synapses, of different hormones, of different neurotransmitters. It talks about dopamine and epinephrine and cortisol talks about the physiological functions of how those hormones and how those neurons connect to one another and create a certain reaction from individuals and he brings in relevant topics things like addiction things like creating habits or breaking habits he brings in all of those topics and talks about really the neurological design of how our brain reacts to certain things and basically why we do what we do as human beings, whether for good or for bad. And so if you are interested in neuropsychology, I mean, these are very similar topics that you will probably learn in your neuropsychology courses. So it's actually really cool to learn it in a podcast format in a way that's a little bit more entertaining than perhaps just listening to a professor. If you guys are interested in learning more about the brain and the body and a little bit more about the neurological functions of the brain, I would definitely, definitely check out this podcast. Again, it's not specifically related to neuropsychology, but he does do and say and explain a number of neuroscience and neuropsychology terms that will come up when you go into graduate school. And he also does bring in other professionals, people like psychiatrists, people who are psychologists or people who are in their perspective field in terms of their expertise and related to the brain or the body. 
And so that gives you a little bit more of a holistic format of how to use neuroscience and how to perhaps even think about treatment for certain populations and things like that. So definitely check out that podcast. And the last one, the last one, remember the first one was more so entertainment. Human Bin Lab is more so neuroscience. This one, this next one is specifically devoted to just neuropsychology. This podcast is called Navigating Neuropsychology. It has two hosts, John Ballone, who is a neuropsychologist, board certified, and then Ryan Van Patten. Both are neuropsychologists practicing in their field. Some of the main objectives of the podcast is to provide scientifically based and easily accessible information for students and professionals in neuropsychology. They want to work towards unification on important areas of debate within neuropsychology, and they want to act as an outlet for innovative ideas and breaking news in the field. Now, again, so this podcast, if you really are looking into just neuropsychology podcasts, then this is probably the podcast for you. They talk about how to become a neuropsychologist. They talk about their own personal experiences with neuropsychology in graduate school. So if you really want the full complete picture of how to get into neuropsychology and what grad school looks like and how to actually become board certified, they talk about that. And what's really cool too is that I, I believe they have a book on how to become a neuropsychology where they give the reader a whole number of details of how to actually become a neuropsychologist. So honestly, I would definitely put that in your radar in terms of if you are looking to become a neuropsychologist, if you're looking for different resources to learn about neuropsychology and basically exposing yourself with as much neuropsychology resources as possible so those are the three podcasts guys those are the three podcasts that i've been listening to if you guys have any other additional recommendations or podcasts that you guys are listening to whether it's psychology or neuropsychology also please put it down in the comment section below i would love to know any other things that people are listening to that are also helpful for them in their learning experience for psychology and i'm sure the community would love that as well so if you already haven't, subscribe to the channel, like this video, and I will see you guys in the next video.